1986 was the year the Community Foundation was launched by some incredible community leaders like Mary Lynn Oliver, Dick DeVore, Fred Berry, folks who were already very heavily invested in the Wichita community and were here to stay. And there was some amazing work that was done through the Community Foundation. One great example of that is the work with United Methodist Open Door, very strong leader in Reverend Deanne Smith that does amazing work for our homeless population, people living in poverty. Um, and that's just one example of the kinds of community focus and caregiving that the foundation started out doing. In the beginning, we had very little money to give. So our grants were 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. 10,000 was big. And as funds grew, we could give more and be more impactful. At the 25-year anniversary, we made a decision to do something different. We moved from transactional grant making to transformational grant making. And transactional grant making was a lot of smaller gifts that touched a lot of folks in the community but didn't have deep community impact. When the board chose to move into transformational grant making, they knew that we had to have a vision for what that would look like. It took us a couple of years and then we connected with James Chung. So the idea of identifying challenges our community faces and then addressing that with charitable dollars became a part of the mission of the Community Foundation. I have to hand the Wichita Community Foundation for the foresight and the guts to take on a project, a very difficult project, one that most community foundations don't have the wisdom or commitment to take on, and they took this on. This is a deep dive, embedded project, long-term project involving as many organizations, companies, individuals as possible. Because if we have enough people pulling on the rope in the same direction, Wichita wins. We have started doing some work with literacy to elevate the conversation in the city. So we chose not to just fund existing literacy organizations, but to try to put the conversation on the table, hopefully to motivate the organizations to keep doing what they're doing, which is great, but to take that to the next level and bring other people to the table there is a quote by James Baldwin that states, these are all our children will either benefit from or pay for what they become. And I truly believe that the Community Foundation understands that when they invest in nonprofits like Storytime Village, they are investing in our children. And that means that they're investing in the future of our community. One of the things we love to do with our grant making is experimentation and risk taking. And one of those was a pop-up park on Douglas. So who goes to a pop-up park in Wichita? But it's unusual, it's different, it got people's attention. It was a way for people to come together and still is. Hopefully talking to different people than you might normally talk to in a different context. A phrase that James Chung uses is we can't let up off the gas. And that's we hope that the Community Foundation is the vehicle to continue pushing those conversations, making sure the right people are at the table, helping secure the funding if we need to, but just to continue to push for a better Wichita.